I remember being or feeling really, really sad and really down, even when I was in grade like five and six, and feeling really alone and really struggling just with life. And uh, that just intensified as I went into sort of the difficult years of adolescence. It got worse and worse and worse. And I always was thinking, well, maybe when I'm this old, it'll get better. Maybe when I move away from home, it'll get better. And uh, it was always kind of heartbreaking when I moved away to the city and it was still hard and I still struggled. But there was always this thought of, well, maybe if I find the career I want to do, maybe if I do these things. And, and so it continued into university and beyond. I'm pretty open about my background. And so when she got the project off the ground, she sort of wanted to know if I'd be willing to share my story with folks. So it was, I was, of course, I mean, I share my story fairly regularly anyway, just not in that public of a forum, I guess. And so I was definitely willing, um, although not quite prepared for the response. I've had like Facebook messages, texts from strangers who saw my story from a share from a friend of a friend of a friend who are telling me their stories of living with mental illness and then people from my past people I grew up with so it's been very fascinating uh, seeing who's been affected or who's read the, my story and um, even you know family members who've sort of reached out and wanted to talk about how things were back then when I was first trying to get help.